What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video, another full workout, and another full day of eating. So I started off the workout with doing some assisted pull-ups here. I aimed for doing three sets of 10 to 12 reps, I believe. And yeah, just making sure you get that full range of motion is super, super important. Pull-ups are a great exercise to start your workouts out, off with because it's just using body weight and a little bit of assistance if needed. The next exercise that I did were stiff leg deadlifts and I did five sets of 12 reps here. So what's really important is that you keep your back straight and I only lowered the weight a little bit past my knees there before bringing it back up, squeezing my glutes at the top, and got in some hamstring work with this. So I just recently started incorporating stiff leg deadlifts into my back day, and I would highly recommend it. I think it gives a really nice pump and really takes your workout to the next level. I then went right into a close grip row here. This is super, super good just overall to improve your back strength to get some serious definition. I did five sets of 15 reps, so really good intensity, really good volume here, and just really focusing on getting that full range of motion. It's just so important and really squeezing there when you pull that close, that close grip bar back. I then went right into doing some lat pull downs for three sets for 10 to 12 reps here and I did a wide grip and I really just uh, switch it up with my back day workout to do close grip, wide grip, neutral grip but I just did a wide grip since I just got done doing that close grip there so really just aiming to do different uh, hand positions is really just gonna help you hit different parts of your back and target different muscle groups. So variation is key. And then I really just wanted to hit my biceps here. So I just did some standard bicep curls and I did three sets of 12 reps. So a bit heavier here, but Really just focusing on good quality reps here since it is just a standard exercise. We really want to make sure that we're getting the full range of motion and squeezing at the top and getting the most out of each and every rep. I then went into doing more bicep curls except I grabbed uh, an Ezekiel bar here, just like a barbell. And started doing just I just started pumping out some reps honestly I felt a really good pump in my biceps and I just wanted to keep going so picked one up and I did three sets of I believe what I did seven to ten reps so a bit heavier too but really just wanting to get a really nice pump I then kept the barbell and went right into doing some reverse grip here. So my palms are facing down in this video. And I haven't done these before. I just recently started incorporating them and I really, really love it. So make sure you give this a try. Just make sure you aren't breaking your wrist when you're holding the barbell. Good morning, YouTube. Happy Thursday. I hope you guys try that back workout because oh dang it was so good like I'm just not saying that like legit holy shit it was really really good I also posted um, a booty workout too the other day make sure you go and give that one a like and just check it out because that one was pretty intense too but today I did a variation as you can see of just low reps, we did high intensity, we did lower reps, we did just super sets and a whole bunch of other stuff. And in addition to the workout, I also did some abs after. So I did some, what did I do? I did side planks and I did leg raises and I did cable rope pull downs. 
and so I'm gonna be doing a whole other video on like my top favorite ab exercises I will probably be filming that on Friday and then posting it too so yeah so look out for that but anyway I just wanted to get on here and say good morning it is a beautiful day and that when I first woke up this air is really loud. <laughs> when I first woke up this morning, you guys, I did not want to get out of bed. I considered taking a rest day when I honestly wouldn't have needed a rest day today. I considered going to the gym later, you know, like, oh, I'll get it done later, you know, like we always have that excuse. And I even like just laid in bed, you know, you just, you make up a ton of excuses. But then I just laid there and I do what I always do when I'm gonna, when, you know, that devil side of our brain is making up excuses of why not to get it done. I remind myself of how mad I'm going to be at myself if I don't get up and get my workout in and I remind myself of how freaking good it makes me feel and I love coming on here after a workout because I'm always so fired up and motivated because you get those endorphins going and so I just want to let you guys know that I'm not motivated all the time either. I have my good and bad days. I find that I would say I mean, I don't get unmotiv that, unmotivated that often because I genuinely like going to the gym. It's the type of training and exercise that I genuinely enjoy doing, but I still do have those off days. And when they do come, I make sure that I go extra hard in the gym and I push myself extra hard because you're really gonna need that extra push. And I remind myself of my goals. I remind myself of why I started, what, do I, what I wanna accomplish. I remind myself of the love and support that I have from my family and you guys. And it makes it gets me fired up and it gets me motivated so next time when you're not feeling as motivated just try doing those little tips and tricks too but anyway I'm gonna go I'm gonna run back to my dorm get ready it is currently 652 right now and I have class at 8 so I'm gonna go back to my dorm have my protein shake raw walnuts as what I've been having in the past few videos just a handful of raw walnuts and then probably um, have some green tea and then I'm gonna just go and start working on uploading a YouTube video try and get that up before my first class too and then yeah I just have classes all throughout the morning too and then I think I'm gonna be um, probably yeah I should be done by around like 2 30 so still like really early throughout the day too so I'll be showing you guys some snacks and stuff because as you guys know I'm out of my green juices that I made for my house. I brought green juices for the week and yesterday I drank my last one so I'm gonna be showing you guys kind of what I have for snacks and all that, hydration, kind of what I've been showing all week but then just continued. So yeah, good morning <laughs> and I love you guys and welcome to the video. All right guys, my meals ended up being pretty quick because I had to run in between classes, but I still managed to record it there. So I just have some berries, apple, banana, pineapple, and then that's actually a tofu scramble. And then for a snack, I had a green juice there. And I was at Starbucks, so I actually just bought a fresh green organic pressed juice. And I'll be going over the nutritional content in the next few video videos, but it has a lot of vegetables in it, super, super good. And then I asked them just for a large uh, thing of hot water, so they don't charge you anything for hot water at Starbucks, super convenient. And I brought my own green tea packet because tea can be pretty expensive if you ask just for one packet. So I always just bring my own and I just get hot water and it saves you a ton of calories. Then for supper here I had some edamame beans, green peas, a little thing of corn, fresh cucumber, tomato, and beets, and then I had some more of that tofu scramble and I put it right over some white rice and in the tofu scramble they had some bell peppers and onions so it was super super tasty. Alright guys, back at the dorm. I was at Starbucks there for a while, so that's where I got that organic green juice. So it had celery, cucumber, spinach, kale, lemon, and parsley in it. So it was super, super good. I just, I love green juices. I like to have them at least once a day. And I ran out of the ones that I brought for my house. So I just went to Starbucks to get some work done and saw that they had some organic fresh pressed juices. So I went ahead and got that green one. And then I also got, um, I honestly just asked them for a 
a large cup and to just fill it with hot water and then I had tea with me so then I just popped it right in there and just had tea with me so this saves you a ton of calories rather than just going and getting like a mocha or a frappuccino that has just a ton of calories in it but if you're gonna get coffee there and, or like some sort of drink I would say go for like an almond milk latte or like a soy milk latte too just adding that in and yeah I would just say almond milk latte soy lattes or oat milk lattes are kind of my go-to if I'm like super super craving stuff but I honestly don't really get almond milk lattes there because I know that the type of almond milk that they use at least for the Starbucks around here in Minnesota it's one that has um added like cane sugar in and if I, when I buy almond milk I always get the unsweetened so that's just me personally is that maybe me being a little bit picky and stuff but I'm just a little bit more cautious when I'm out and I'm choosing the food that I'm going to be putting into my body so that's just my personal choice but if you're gonna go for some sort of drink I would always recommend um, a plant-based milk they have plant-based options at all Starbucks it's really convenient and now they're starting to have a ton more plant-based options there so that's awesome love it but now i'm just getting my clothes all ready and packed i have a ton of clothes here probably brought like way more than i should have <laughs> so honestly i just have my clothes left here because i'm gonna be living at home second semester so i'm bringing everything back so i'm just gonna get my clothes packed up in my car tomorrow and yeah probably just work on some homework the rest of the night my supper there it was they had a tofu scramble here and so it was so so good I love it they're starting to expand more on the plant-based options here at my college and I'm just really I'm looking into getting more involved with helping them expand that so I'm really super excited about it so then I just had that tofu scramble with rice and then just a whole bunch of beans and other mixed vegetables with that so super super good super filling full of fiber protein vitamins minerals and then you guys know already I drink tea all day so making sure that we drink enough water is super super important I always want to make sure that I get in at least a gallon a day too of water but I wasn't always like that I used to literally always drink coffee and sugary drinks so it's definitely a process but overall yeah so that was sort of my day so I'm just gonna finish cleaning up here and then probably do some more work shower all that fun stuff and then tomorrow Friday, so excited. Gonna go get up, train some legs, train some glutes, and go hard on some abs too. So I'm gonna be recording my top, probably top ab exercises tomorrow too, and put it on the YouTube. So I'll record that for you guys. And yeah, then I'm just gonna go hang out with my mom um, and get my nails done and all that stuff too. So I'll most likely be vlogging that. I'm trying to uh, think of more like recipes that I can create create once I move back home for college. So if there's any recipes that you guys would like to see, please make sure you go in the comments down below. Comment down some healthy plant-based recipes that you would like to see down below or if you have any questions on diet, nutrition, or anything, I'd be happy to answer. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was a little bit short there. I had to just kind of throw in clips of my food without any really talking or content with that. I was super, super busy, but I wanted to make sure that I showed you guys my meals and what I'm eating throughout the day to make the most of my workouts because nutrition and what we eat is at least 80% of the work. So we got to keep that right on point but i love you guys thank you thank you so much for your continued support i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video what does perfect even mean